How you doing gardeners? Ed and Delia with Fresh Picked Acres and today's video we're talking about soil temperature and the importance of checking soil temperature. When I was a young boy the old adage was to plant your potatoes on St. Patrick's Day or by St. Patrick's Day whichever side of the coin your family happened to go with. That being said that isn't necessarily the way I plant my potatoes. If you look up on uh, Google or any other reference you want your soil temperatures to be a minimum of 45 degrees. Remember, I said minimum. We don't want it getting cold again and, and jumping back up warm. We need to know that we're planting at the time of year that can give our potatoes the best chance so they don't just rot in the soil. One of the ways I do that is I just simply use a soil thermometer. Uh, it, uh, we look at, uh, there's many different varieties or kinds of soil thermometers. There's digital. Uh, I'm old school here and just using a simple uh, soil thermometer, but the directions, and this is an AccuRite soil thermometer, and I'm not paid by them, but the, 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 there's a nut on the very bottom of that, uh, of this dial, and it needs to be calibrated. So let's go ahead and we'll follow the directions and get our, get our soil thermometer uh, properly dialed in. The first thing they tell you to do is get some, is have some ice water. And so I've had this sitting in here, this ice for uh, probably about 30 minutes and a lot of it's melted. And then what we want to do is set our thermometer in uh, about two inches of, of water, so of ice water. So we're going to let that sit for a while and uh, watch it come down. Now it needs to be 32 degrees because that's what ice water runs at if, if you allow it to sit long enough right now i'm sitting at 32 degrees so we're we're in good shape i this is the second time i did this by the way uh but it's as easy as adjusting that nut on the bottom of the the bottom of the uh, uh dial but we're sitting in good shape, so we have an accurately dialed in soil thermometer. So I'm in the part of the garden here that I want to plant my potatoes. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this in the soil. In my case, I'm going to go down about four inches into the soil. The directions call for us to let it sit there for one minute, at least one minute. So I'll come back to us and we'll see where we're at. I know it's early, but we have a very good warm up week here. And this is a good starting point to know about how close I am to plant my potatoes. So as you can see, our temperature has only reached about 34 degrees Fahrenheit. So if I were to plant my potatoes right now, they're gonna be sitting in the soil for quite some time. However, the good news is for us, we have 50 degree nights coming up. We also have some 70 degree days. We're in the last week of March. So every day this is gonna be changing. I have my trusty uh, soil thermometer here to tell me when the right time is to plant. And we also wanna watch our calendar dates or our calendar a little bit. We don't wanna, once I hit 44, 45 degrees, I don't wanna just plant the potatoes and say, well, it hit the soil temp. I'm gonna look at the forecast a little bit and verify whether or not we continue to have those types of soil temps, because I don't want my potatoes rotting in the soil. I want them going. Now this is equally important for crops such as uh, uh, sweet corn. Sweet corn has a, uh, a temp soil temperature of a minimum of 55 to 60 degrees. So we want to use it for that so we don't get our corn seed in and have it rot in the soil. Now, as far as getting, uh, getting uh, anxious about getting our tomatoes and our, um, our, our squash plants and that type of thing out, we got to understand we got to pay attention to that frost date. So we're looking here in Kansas being roughly the last week of April that I could possibly begin to get that seed going. And again, we can use the soil thermometer to verify because those different crops have different germination temperatures. So thanks for watching folks. And like always hit that like button and that subscribe and come grow with us.